Jim Alpizer with Garmin. We're here at Oshkosh Air Venture 2013, and I'd like to give you guys a look at the uh, the new GTR 200, uh, non-certified product for the uh, light sport and experimental aircraft market. Garmin uh, and uh, our uh, Team X has been added again. We've uh, produced a new uh, comm radio for the uh, light sport and experimental crowd. This is the new uh, GTR 200. Um, it's a uh, powerful 10-watt uh, radio with a built-in two-place intercom, as well as all kinds of additional great features. Uh, we've got a monitor function, uh, so you can actually listen to your standby radio. Um, so it actually kind of functions almost like two radio receivers, if you will. So we're always listening to our active frequency, and then when nothing's coming in our active frequency, we hear what's going on on the standby frequency. So if you want to pick up ATIS or something like that. Another uh, additional feature with the uh, the GTR 200 is uh, 3D audio. So that's a great new feature that we've built into this uh, radio, and with its two-place intercom, uh, since we're listening to that standby frequency anyway, we then can spatially separate that inside of your stereo headset to allow you to hear one frequency basically on the left side of your head and the other frequency on the right side of your head. It's even more sophisticated to do that for its intercom functionality as well, so you actually hear your passenger coming from the right side as well, and that's all selectable to turn it off and on. We've also made some great additions in the overall performance of the uh, the audio panel. We have a, uh, a built-in auto squelch as part of the uh, the intercom, and it works in incredibly well to, to eliminate the, uh, the unnecessary breaks in, uh, in communication. We also have a uh, built-in audio input that has uh, uh, the ability for you to turn off and on your music with just a simple button push. And uh, so you can have music inputs and get that great stereo audio coming in there as well. Uh, we also have simple volume control. And one thing I really like is this uh, volume bar with both percentage and bar readout so you know exactly what your volume is as you're uh, transmitting and receiving signals. Another great feature of this uh, this radio is its ability to, uh, to, to display frequencies so you know who you're talking to. Now we do that when you're coupled with another Garmin product, like a portable GPS product, a compatible portable GPS product, or our G3X displays, either the multifunction display or the primary flight display. So right now you can tell I'm tuned to 118.5, which is Oshkosh Tower, and as I tune my standby frequency, oh, I just clicked over to departure frequency, or approach frequency, or different ATIS uh, frequencies in the, in the neighborhood. So it's actually drawing in that database information from your existing Garmin product, so you actually don't have to buy an additional database just for that radio. So probably the best thing about this radio in general is its price. Uh, the GTR 200 sells for $1,199 and is uh, going to be available here very, very quickly in the next uh, week or two, uh, just after Oshkosh. Um, the, uh, the integration that we've done with uh, G3X and our portable product is fantastic and we're excited to have this incredibly uh, powerful uh, non-certified uh, radio come available for uh, LSA and experimental uh, builders out there. Uh, I'm Jim Alpizer. This is a uh, AvWeb Product Minute.